Welcome back to another episode of the A-League Couch Critics. I'm Brad. And I'm Sog. And this is our first video in... I oh know, it's our second video in the A-League off-season. So we're going to be talking a little topic today that was a bit hot towards the, towards the end of the season. It was um, Canberra mm. um, putting in a bid uh, to join the A-League from the 2021-22 season. That's right. That's right. That's right. That won't be next year. Yeah, so. not next year, which is... No, that'll be... Well, who knows when that'll be. Next season. Yeah, so... The season after yeah, next. Yeah. Um, so, pretty hot topic. They had a pretty straightforward bid. They had the backers, they have the stadium, they have everything ready to go, and they're basically waiting to hear back from the FFA. So, we're going to have a little bit of chat about why a Canberra A-League team should get in, or maybe why it shouldn't. Mm-hmm. All right. Are we for it? Are we for an A-League team in Canberra? I'm for it, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I'm for it. All right, well, we're going to talk about why they should get a team and not why they shouldn't get a team, because stuff that. Cool. All right. Let's and do it. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe. So like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, that helps us out, helps other people see our content too. Uh, mm. Make sure to leave a comment as well and let us know what you think uh, down in the comment section down below. Mm. And we're up to 76 subscribers now, last time I checked. So thank you to all those 76 people that have subscribed. We promise you it's just not me and sort of making multiple accounts. We're pushing to 100. We're almost there. So, yeah, so hopefully by the start of there. the A-League. And yeah. that'll be that'll be years away, so we'll have plenty of time to crack 100. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, but let's get into it. So the news came probably about two weeks ago that Canberra put forward a bid. So they're discussing about whether they might potentially overtake the Canberra uh, the Central Coast Mariners license or they start up completely. And I think their preference is a brand new team and not replacing that Central I Coast think, one. I think everyone's preference is that they are a new bid yeah. and that Central Coast stay. I, I don't I don't know of anyone who said yeah. that they should move the Mariners. So yeah. I think we're all I think everyone is like, you know, if they we want to keep yeah. Keep the Mariners put in a new team. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So why do you think Canberra should get a team? Look, there's some obvious things like they're just our nation's capital. Yeah. And we don't, they don't have representation in our national league. But the New Zealand capital is in our league, but yeah. not the Australian capital. So it's a bit silly. So, I, I mean, a lot of people on uh, A-League Reddit, outsiders, people from overseas are always like, why is there no team from Canberra? Isn't that where the capital city is? It's not Sydney yeah. or Melbourne, yeah. uh, it, you know, so there's that. But I think they've got a heap going for them. One stat that I saw come out recently is that Canberra have the highest percentage of people playing football in, in their state. about set. 7%, wasn't it? About 7%, something it's like crazy. that. crazy. That's huge. So hmm. participation rates in football, they're right up there. Uh, so there's obviously a football community there. There's people who love football. Uh, there's kids playing, there's there's adults playing. Uh, get them an A-League side. Get that that support base, you know. If it's Gallup's old fish where the fish are, well, the highest percentage of fish mm. are in Canberra. Yeah. Why are we not putting an A-League yeah, and team and I think, there? to be fair, I think Foxhole had a lot of say in the last expansion round. But, um, yeah. yeah, and the fish where the fish I think that's the biggest thing. And there's people in Canberra screaming for a team. I don't know how many people are screaming from a team from Campbelltown or Western Melbourne, um, which mm. always confused me about the round last round of expansion. I never really ever I, came across anyone from those areas saying we wanted to, yeah, yeah, we know it's, it's money. Yeah, we know it's, it's money. Um, but, but, and, but yeah, we're saying we know it's money, but mm. the Canberra have, you know, investors yeah. who are involved with PSG yeah. willing to spend and mm. uh, the FFA bosses said, oh, would you like to invest in a team somewhere else? Oh. <laughs> so, what, I, what I heard that, I watched it. So it was on the SPS The World Game. They had Michael Cagliano on from the Canberra um, bid. Mm. And he said that. I was like, oh, it's so cringeworthy. Cringe. It's, oh, it just shows the incompetency of the FFA at the time. And I think with JJ, with James Johnson, I think uh, we're... I think Canberra it's definitely better. probably can be a bit more confident about their chances. But yeah, see, that's what confused me. If it was money, mm. like they had the, they would have had the money. They had the backing. So mm. that's that's stupid. But yeah. um, but it, I think it's really positive to see that these Canberra backers have the money post COVID. Mm. That this team still wants to go in post COVID and everything going on where money is such an issue right now. They're still ready to go. 
and they've got the stadium ready to go. Yeah, what, what do you make of Canberra Stadium? Uh, I've been there a few times for rugby league and yeah. for football, and I think I think it's a... It's, it's pretty it's a, old. Yeah, like, I think it's 1977. They're, if they're knocking down yeah. the SFS and rebuilding, you know, should Canberra, if they get a team, have something a bit newer, a bit more square? Yeah, well, I think um, that's been a popular debate in Canberra for a number of years now about yeah, okay. a new stadium in Canberra, but... The, the problem is where's it going to go? I think maybe they want something closer to the centre of Canberra for you know easy access, but that is a common topic down there in Canberra. Mm. Um, I just read the Canberra Times and there's quite a lot of stories out there. Um, but least... I think their current stadium, it's it's I I, th- I think it's good enough. Like I think there's it's I think it's pretty solid. Okay, so it could hold football matches. It's maybe not the most you know techy kind of place. You're not going to get great Wi-Fi. But if you're there to watch football, you, you shouldn't be disappointed. No, no, I, I think it's fine. Obviously, there's better stadiums out there, but there's a lot worse stadiums there. I think it's pretty handy for what they got. It's right next to the Australian Institute of Sport. Mm. Um, and I've heard Canberra is planning to next year open up a $25 million, basically excellent football, excellent centre down there. So okay. it's a really good start-up for a potential A-League side. So they've got everything. They've also got... a. W League team already yeah. that they can kind of put together. So mm. they've already got, you know, somewhat of an existing fan base of football in Canberra. Yeah. Uh, and then, you know, imagine getting back the AIS or, or having an AIS program for soccer mm. and introducing that into their youth league team as well. Yeah. And using that as their, their youth academy. Yeah. There's great potential there to actually build a club right and, and mm. to you know, use existing fans, use in existing structures and, yep. and things to, to create a good football yeah. club. And that's something make Michael Cagliano said in his interview about the women's side was that the investor was like, what, you've really got a women's side in there? That's fantastic because that's the thing right now. Women football is growing so much. Mm. Um, I don't know if it would be a complete merge if at Canberra getting, because they've said if, because it's run by Capital Football, they said if they're happy for them to merge, they'll do it. But if they want to go forward as a separate identity, we'll go forward as two separates, the men and the women, and we'll work together. Okay. But they won't necessarily rebrand them if they don't want to do that, if Capital yeah, right. Football still wants to run it. Um, but yeah, women's team there already. Um, so it seems like everything's there except for the A-League side. And I think a big thing, uh, I've, I can't remember who was saying this, but I've heard it, you know, uh, Decisions get made in Canberra. You know, sporting decisions get made in Canberra. Yeah. Funding, yep. all those things. From a federal why point do, of view, yeah. Why is the FFA not put a team in Cambria? Like, that puts you right there next to the politicians who are making the decisions. Get them yeah. on board with the team. They're making decisions about football. Uh, they're making funding decisions. Yep. They're making, you know, get football in the capital where it's going to get that exposure. Yeah. It's going to get that kind of news and that talk. Um, it's crazy. Bradley, what do you think, uh, you know, obviously us fans, we can chat about it. How can we actually show the FFA that that's the right thing to do? You, you've been... Well, in, I've on been going league. on Twitter every few days. So there's the A-League expansion bid, something along those lines, Twitter page. It's got the official tick. So check it out on Twitter. I go on there. I've done it twice. I go on about every three, four days and retweet one of their most... Sog. Uh, I'm just... It. You're on your phone. You just around. give them the actual oh, name. Right, what right. is it? A league expansion bid or something like that. Oh, not A league Canberra. I've got. I should have it in front of me because I just had it. Here it is. I'm on the page right now. Canberra Region A League. So if you look up at CBR Region H A L, um, that's the official. Yeah, it is the official count of the Canberra and Capital Region A League bid. So it's just not Canberra. I think they're trying to incorporate areas such as Goulburn and. Griffith and okay. the Canberra region. Yeah, or well, I, th- I think it's like the Manara region or something like that. Yeah, right. um, don't know if it actually has a border or anything, but um, yeah, I go on there. Oh, I've done it twice. Every three to four days, I retweet and say, "Come on, FFA A League, you haven't got it done. What's going on? Give them the team." And so the Canberra A League, the the A League Canberra page, retweeted my tweet, which is a retweet of their tweet. So <laughs> let's just keep going. Just just. Tag the FFA yeah. and the A League every couple yeah. of days and just be like, "Any news on that Canberra bid yet? Yeah. Are you getting it done? Yeah. What are you doing about it? Put a team in Canberra. Let's get it done, mate. Come on." So I want to encourage all our viewers out there to do that. Get on Twitter, but also get on the FFA website and figure out whatever their number is and call them up. <laughs> Send them emails. Make them 
just annoy them so much that they'll be like, all right, shut up. We'll give them the team. We'll just pressure them into yeah. putting the so team. So this is team. basically peer pressure. And then and we've always been told peer pressure is a good thing. Once they've announced that a team in Canberra, let's pick another place and get another team. Tasmania. Let's, let's get a team there. Yeah, but we've already got another overseas team. We don't need another <laughs> foreign country team. In the comp. Let's... We've got to push this expansion, let them know that we, we need more clubs. We get it to that 14 as quick as possible. Then when the second division gets started, we're, you know, we're good to go. Promotion, relegation, transfer system. We're getting there. James Johnson's actually doing things, but we actually need to just keep it going. We can't let it stall again. We, we've we seen this progress before in the future. Oh, team's coming in. Oh, it's mm. really nice. And then we just leave it, and it all goes flat. But we don't want to do what America, the Major League Soccer... I don't know if Major League Soccer's doing the right thing. They've got about, like, 28 teams now. I don't know. We couldn't support 28 teams in the top division. No, no. That's where you need a promotion relegation system. Yeah. Let's screw off this. Yeah. America's a big, bigger country than us. A lot more well. cities, yeah. Yeah. Whereas, yeah, I think 14, 16 tops... Yeah. You know, then but we've chatted about um, expansion in another video, so make sure you head over onto our channel and look for that video. It's somewhere on it's in the, our weekly chat. Yeah. yeah, it might pop up here. Probably not. Who yeah, knows? It'll be a little notification just about. Oh, the little the <laughs> rectangle bar thing. Yes, <laughs> but anyway, Canberra. It needs to have an A League team. I'm pretty passionate. I'm not from Canberra, but I. I see their struggle. This is, I think, the third time they've tried to get a team. And I think, generally, the people from Canberra just are passionate for seeing a team yep. from Canberra on the national stage. Last year, when the Raiders made the NRL Grand Final, it was such a big time for the city before they got screwed over by the referee with uh, the six-to-go call. So, um, what are you talking about? I... Whatever, yeah. Round ball. That's all we care about. Oh, yeah, we can like other sports too. <laughs> but I, I generally, I, I went to a wedding the day after Canberra the Raiders made the grand final, and so many people who, from my understanding, weren't rugby league supporters are like, "Oh yeah, it was great. I flicked it on. They were winning. It was so cool. The kids at school dressed up in green. Like they really embraced the Canberra identity mm -hmm. and really got around their team, even though they might not actually watch the sports. So I think that's another thing that a, a Canberra A League team can latch onto is being a representative of that city. Yeah, I think and, that's the best way for all yeah. these expansion teams, you know, pick an area and, and get people on board. Mm -hmm. I think that's why yeah. Western maybe are struggling, but that was always the, the view was that's a booming place and, and we'll have a fan base. But you look at but yeah, the, oh, no, the no, teams, that, United, the teams but... that do well, you know, Western Sydney, when they came in, mm -hmm. it, was an, it was an identity, it was an area. So Canberra yeah. can do that. Get your people, get them on board, even get if they're people. casual... Yeah. That's what Wanderers did really well at the start. They got the casuals on board. Yeah. So I think um, that's the right way to do it. Yeah, if, the, if Canberra locals love Canberra things, get them on board, get them into their football team, and yeah, yeah should be good. I uh, think we could sit here and chat about expansion in Canberra for another 20 minutes, but absolutely. we're not going to do that because you have other things to do and we don't want to bore you too much. But thanks for watching. Uh, mm. Make sure you hit up that subscribe button. Get on the likes. We still haven't got a downvote yet. But because I've said that, Don't that might that. change now. <laughs> so give us a like. Give us a comment about what you think about Canberra. And please, please harass and peer pressure the FFA and the A-League to do the right thing by Australian football. And give our bloody capital an A-League team. Let's do it. And if they get in, I'm totes getting a jersey. Got to support the new team. All right, we'll uh, catch you next week in our weekly chat and uh, maybe on Friday with some football manager. Oh, you can do that. <laughs> catch you later.